as the Honourable Member for Newport West correctly pointed out, if you can get, uh, if you can get the vaccination right, there is a herd effect uh, in the uh, badges and that, that immunity can be uh, passed on. And we are also, as I said, looking at this notion, it's very early stages, but looking at this notion of self-disseminating uh, vaccines that would effectively be um, a positive contagious vaccine that would spread through the, the badger population. So he's right that this is an important area of research, but I come back to what I said at the beginning. It is one of the tools that we have to bear down on this disease. Uh, I'm afraid, uh, in my view, a, a badger cull is an essential part uh, of any coherent strategy to eradicate uh, TB, and that is why uh, we continue with this, uh, with this policy. And Mr Paisley, just in conclusion, uh, I will say a number of honourable members mentioned uh, the BVA and their comments on uh, free shooting of badgers. But as I've said previously, I live uh, quite near Bushy Park, uh, across the bridge from Kingston, and every autumn uh, a sign is put on the gate that says the park's closed today because there's a deer cull going on. And, you know, nobody bats an eyelid. Uh, people don't say, this is terrible, we don't get protesters running around, uh, you know, dressed up as deer or in the middle of the night trying to disrupt things. Uh, people seem to accept that. And I would simply put to honourable members... We have to keep some sense of perspective here. We are trying to fight a very difficult disease. The veterinary advice is clear uh, that a badger cull has got to be part of your approach to eradicating uh, that disease. And is it really that different uh, from the approach that we take to controlling other wildlife, such as uh, foxes uh, and, indeed, uh, deer culls in uh, royal parks? Thank you. Before I put the question, I'm able to call the member for Newport West a big to read. make a few points. A very grateful to Mr. Fraser. Can I point out that the reply we had has been a very disappointing one <coughs> from the Minister. I mean, he said that uh, he's not going to take any action as far as the hunt is concerned because the hounds are concerned because it's very rare uh, for uh, uh, the uh, uh, bovine TB in, uh, in dogs or hounds uh, to be transferred to other species. Well, you can't have it both ways if this is the government's policy because the, uh, the chief veterinary officer, Mr Nigel Gibbons, took to the airwaves in 2013 to proclaim that it wasn't safe uh, to take your pet Labrador or let your pet cat out into the woods as it might catch bovine TV from badgers which might subsequently infect you, the owner. Um, this, I think, was uh, taken in a rather extreme view at the time. But if the veterinary view is that uh, bovine TV is infectious uh, into other species uh, from hounds, we must take this very seriously, what's happening in a hunt uh, that's been trampling uh, over six of our counties. And uh, we should uh, look, too, to other uh, methods of uh, making sure that if we are serious about uh, making sure there's a, a new source of infection, uh, to carry out... Uh, inspections in the hounds. The reason we don't know if it's in the hounds is because we haven't looked before. And it's about time uh, that that was done. There was a claim made about New Zealand, which is an interesting one, uh, about the possums in New Zealand. And in 2009, the New Zealand government reported that the incidence of uh, bovine TV in the possums was 0.004% which is vanishingly small, and pointed out that the reason uh, that uh, the disease had been virtually eliminated from the possum population was to do with cattle control, to do with reducing uh, the movements of the cattle around in, the, in that country, but nothing to do with culling, and it's entirely false to pretend that. We, we've had in this debate uh, possibly... Uh, the view that uh, some members have put from the other side, which is the Serene Blyton view of wildlife, that somehow wild animals should abide by the, the Ten Commandments, not go out and eat other animals or to follow their natural life. And it's, uh, it's a view that's put forward uh, sentimentally uh, by, uh, by some to defend uh, what are barbaric acts against uh, these dumb animals. I believe that we should also uh, look uh, to uh, the, uh, some of the other points made in this debate, which were entirely false. There's a, entirely, the figures given about Wales by one member on the other side was just untrue. And uh, we know that uh, it is uh, working in Wales, the system they have there. 
but it's not working in England. Since the last debate was held like here, uh, between November 15 to 16, there were 36 new herd incidents where official TB-free status was withdrawn. So we're going backwards in those, and the number of cattle destroyed was up 8% in those areas. We know, too, that the number of herds that are identified as infected with, um, with the bovine TB at the slaughterhouses is in the hundreds. That they, It's not working. The system, the crude system, unscientific, you have for detecting TB, is not working. And I believe it's uh, wrong of the minister... Uh, while he gave some pie in the sky, uh, hope for the future of things that uh, are unlikely to come to fruition for many years. But the government have shown their lack of conviction in this policy uh, because they've set um, a target of 25 years before it will deliver. I don't think many of us will be around uh, to see that. And the government will constantly have the excuse, well, you must give us time to, to deal with this. But I make the final point, but it doesn't help. And uh, I was accused of accusing the government of being crowd pleasing. It's not the general crowd we're talking about, it's the farming crowd. But what they have done is outraged the majority of public opinion. And it's not reasonable to mock those who sacrifice their times and their safety to protest, protest vigorously against what is an act of cruelty, unnecessary and has no basis in science or in the incident of what's happened uh, throughout the rest of the world. The worst mistake the politicians make is to say something must be done. We can't think of anything intelligent to do. We can't think of anything practical to do that works, but we must do something. And uh, I'm afraid it's one of the great sins of... This House, in the way that we do legislate, that often the worst mistakes we made is in the pursuit of something must be done. In this case, badger culling is a very bad idea, cruel, and the country will rightly show their contempt against the government that continues with it.